This is the weather forecast video for Tuesday, May the 10th, 2011. Let's take a look at the satellite image from last evening. You can see a complex of thunderstorms over the Dakotas, which was producing some severe weather in that area. This is with a storm system that's off to our west that will be moving in our direction, affecting us through the next couple of days with some severe weather. Here's the watch morning map with some severe thunderstorm watch over South Dakota and Nebraska, some winter storm warnings over Montana, and other winter weather issues down into Colorado. Here's the day one severe weather risk, a slight risk of severe weather. Just clips northeastern Iowa, but mainly will be in Minnesota, Wisconsin, into eastern North Dakota, also in Texas, and also another slight risk over the, from Kentucky down to South Carolina. Here's day two, Wednesday, a slight risk of severe weather from southern Minnesota down to Texas with a moderate risk along the dry line from central Kansas into west central Oklahoma. Here's the QPF chart. Precipitation over the next five days through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock. This takes into account quite a few days of possible rain and thunderstorms. So the two inch amounts along the northern border are likely. Let's take a look. The 0Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. today. You can see one uh, short wave over Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, another one over Arizona digging in down at the surface. Low pressure over northwestern South Dakota will produce the severe weather to our north with a possible severe weather along the dry line over Texas. We should stay mainly dry and very warm. Wednesday, the first wave moves into Canada. Here comes the second one moving into southeastern Colorado and western Kansas. Down at the surface, a new low forms in the Oklahoma Panhandle. This will possibly bring some more rain and thunderstorms Wednesday night over the western half of the state where the slight risk is outlooked. Thursday at 1 p.m., that low is now near Omaha with some rain and thunderstorms possible over the state on Thursday afternoon. Could be some severe weather then as well. By Friday, the low slowing down is now over the eastern part of the state and beginning to become, become stacked with an upper level feature. So some showers, maybe a thunderstorm possible Friday. We move to Saturday, you can see there's that upper level feature forming. This is a bit further west than it was on the previous model run that we did yesterday. So this will likely show that Saturday, you can see the surface low is right in the same place it was Friday. So we could still see a fairly rainy day on Saturday to begin the weekend. Sunday, the low finally begins to move a little bit to the east over Indiana. Still, there could be a chance of a shower around the state, but it won't be an all-day rain and not everybody will see rain. Monday, that feature is now to the east of the state, but there's still some precipitation possible to the east and south of the state, and it will be fairly cool week from today, Tuesday the 17th, you can see that upper level feature is now over south and east of the state, but here comes another storm system looking to develop with some moisture over the plain states. We head off into voodoo country, May 20th, here comes a trough, slightly negative tilt over the plain states with a diverging wind flow aloft down at the surface, low pressure west of the state, possibly some severe weather on the 20th and into the 21st possible with that system, which could last through the following weekend. Then at the end of the forecast period on the 27th, you'll see a trough over the northwest, a ridge over the central or south central part of the country. Down at the surface, could be some rain and thunderstorms around with a with a feature nearby, but in voodoo country, expect the unexpected and things will likely change. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one tomorrow.